Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Foxy Reaper 20x20mm 45A BLL32 4-in-1 EC. In this video, after quickly going over its features and specs, I'm going to assemble it along with the Foxeer F722B2 flight controller on the Apex Multiplex 5-inch build and on a separate video, after bench testing the iFlight Zing 223.5 motors, I'm going to head outdoors and test out this new build. First of all, in terms of packaging, inside its box, along with the 4-in-1 EIC, you can find a 35V 560Microfarad capacitor, 10cm long 12 gauge battery leads, which are pre-soldered to a high-quality XT60 battery connector, a bag with M4 to M3 rubber grommets, and an 8-pins GSD harness for connecting the Reaper 4-in-1 EIC with the F722 flight controller. As for its specs, the supported DC input voltage of the Reaper 4-in-1 ESC is between 10 to 26.2 volts. It supports a continuous current per motor of 45 amperes with a peak current of 65 amperes. It features a built-in current sensor and pretty big motor and battery pads which can only be accessed from the sides and the top side of the 4-in-1 ESC. In addition to the 8 pins JST connector, you can find matching soldering pads. Its outer dimensions are 33 by 40.7 by 5.4 mm and it weighs 10 grams. Now before assembling everything together, let's quickly go over the specs of the Apex Multiplex frame, which features a very interesting modular design that supports 3D printed motor protectors, which unfortunately I don't have. The Apex Multiplex frame comes with either 4 or 5 inch replaceable arms with a thickness of 4 mm. The width is between 11.2 to 15.9 mm and they support between 16 to 12 mm motor's mounting pattern. In addition, the thickness of the bottom, middle and top carbon fiber plates is 2 mm. The wheelbase of the 5 inch version is 225 mm and it features a wide X pattern. The distance between the middle and top carbon fiber plates is 22.5 mm. On the center and on the back of the frame, you can find 20 by 20 mm M2 mounting holes. The frame is bundled with 3D printed TPU parts that are going to enable you to mount a micro-sized camera, Immortal T and FPV antennas. And the weight of the frame, without of course the electronic parts, is 102.7 grams. So as you can see, this is not a very light frame, but as far as I can tell, it is pretty robust and its main purpose is to be used with the 3D printed motor protectors which you can add to the frame using the side mounting holes. Now I'm going to assemble this build together and I will see you in a bit in order to show you the results. As you can see, this new relatively lightweight build which weighs almost 250 grams is ready and as far as I can tell, although I still haven't tested it out, the combination of the Foxy Reaper 4-in-1 ESC and F722 flight controller can be a good option for a low-profile racing-oriented stack. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick video and I'm looking forward to test out this new interesting build which again is going to happen in the same video where I'm going to bench test the iFlight Zing 223.5, and 3600kV motors, which probably going to happen in the next week or so. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos. And goodbye.